welcome you to Google and be here to celebrate the launch of Tecnelo Chicas 2.0 campaign. Yay! We are a proud sponsor of the Tecnelo Chicas campaign. Karina Caneles was selected as a Tecnelo Chica for the second round of the video marketing campaign. Supporting Tecnolo Chicas is important because today women make up just 26% of computer science and mathematical science professions in the United States. By 2020, there will be 1.4 million technology jobs in our, tech, in our economy that are contingent on CS degrees. This represents a greater job growth than any other STEM profession. Less than 1% of girls currently show an interest in studying CS. This implies a tiny pipeline of female CS majors to fill 1.4 million jobs in 2020. Research shows that early intervention is important in encouraging girls to pursue computer science. Google published a study showing that 61% of the factors that influence a girl's decision to go into CS are determined before college. But I bring this example up to address key factors that girls take into account when considering a path in CS. We need more students pursuing an education in computer science, particularly girls and minorities who have historically been underrepresented. Google aims to inspire young people around the world, not just to use technology, but to create it. Someone once told me, if you can see it, you can be it. Now young Latinas can see it the next generation of Latinas, the next young tech innovator. Over a year ago, I was contacted by the Luisa Foundation and NC Wit to form part of a campaign to promote Hispanic women in tech. As a young woman from humble beginnings myself, I thought this was an excellent opportunity to give back to the community that raised me and supported me in the early years of my life. Since then, I have been able to participate in helping students with Hour of Code, have taught workshops for community college, for young girls in community college, and have gone back to my middle school to tell children about my adventures in computer science and the possibilities that come with it. And on top of all of that, I appeared in a Univision PSA which told my story in the hope that it would inspire other young girls to pick up their laptops and start forging a life in computer science for themselves. This has been an extraordinary experience and the honor of my life. I've been interested in technology since I was a kid. And I'm a media executive, I'm a lawyer by training, but that just shows you how many doors technology can really open for you. One of the things that I realized is that because technology is so important for us to look at young Latinas and create role models. And so one of the things that I think we are so proud of at Univision is that we can open the doors and really work with partners like Televisa, like in Siwet and others to open those doors to show Latinos that there are ways to move forward with various opportunities. Today is a really uh, big honor for me to specifically focus on Latinas. My foundation focuses on helping Latinas improve their lives, making sure they have economic mobility, and one of the ways we do that is by funding uh, STEM projects. We have a lot of after-school programs that we fund. Um, people always ask me, why Latinas? And I said, well, I am one. <laughs> That's for starters. Um, but if you look at the future success of the United States and, and how it's growing, the, the fastest growing demographic in the United States is the Latino community. If you look within the Latino community, the people who are doing the hardest work, the CEOs of the home, are the women. And so if we can provide economic mobility to the women of the household, of the fastest growing demographic in the United States, then the future success and the future workforce of the United States is going to be a successful one. In my thesis, I interviewed 10 professional Latina uh, uh, STEM professionals, so engineers, scientists, biologists, and uh, the one thing that they all had in common and why they were all successful is because they were introduced to math and science at a very early age. I want all of you young people here to listen and to learn from the women and learn from their experiences. And, and then I encourage you, as you succeed in your careers, because you will, that you find a conference like this, you find an event like this, and you get on the panel, and you tell somebody else, you can do it, look what I did, you're gonna be successful just like me. What 
do you think was the key to your success? I took a computer uh, science course and sure enough I, I loved it immediately mm -hmm. and I started getting involved. It, the, what, what I love about it is to be able to create something, to be able to, to envision something and then actually go and make it. Um, it, it's very rewarding for me. My entry point came after weeks, it felt like years, but weeks of writing code and I made a black screen. Our screens were not black back then. Um, a black screen, screen with a pink dot and what I felt a sense of power. Mm -hmm. My ideas, my creativity, the things that I came up with, that gave me the sense of power to create something real that didn't exist before. Mm -hmm. It was very powerful. Don't discount yourself and think that you can't do something or computing skills is something that you can't learn because you can. Engineering is just a set of tools that will allow you to solve that problem. I think I had so much passion. These entry points can be anywhere, whether it's playing with engines or whether it's a teacher that says, well, maybe you should consider these other things or just ending up in a place where you have to make decisions and feeling like in that moment, you are enough to, to continue into this new area that you never envisioned that you would be. How do we inspire young Latinas? How do we support them and their families and broaden their vision so that they uh, feel more comfortable and more excited with exploring these STEAM opportunities? We're also um, adding, since last year, um, a number of after-school programs. Last year we were in seven cities, now in an amazing partnership with LULAC, we're expanding to over 20 cities across the United States where we'll be working with young Latinas, mainly from middle school. Research shows that early intervention is important in encouraging girls to pursue computer science. I am very excited to now welcome the Tecnologicas to the panel. Uh, me and Jani from NCWI, together we lead the Tecnochicas campaign and we've been working with all the Tecnochicas to be able to get all their videos ready and to be launched today. I'm so excited to have all these wonderful, intelligent, talented women in one room at the same time. What inspired you to pursue a career in tech? I met some women who were studying computer science in Istanbul and then they introduced me to computer science. I was one of the few people who learned after college and today I'm at Pinterest. A year later, after learning how to code officially, I ended up at Pinterest. I went to Georgia Tech and every student is required to take one computer science class regardless of um, the major. So that was one of the first classes I signed up for and I loved the class. So first assignment was build a simple calculator program and no idea what to do, um, but I did it. I figured it out. And when it was working, I realized I didn't have to go to the store anymore to buy a calculator. I could make it do whatever I wanted. If I wanted to return the wrong answer every time, I could. Um, and that's just kind of when I realized the power that I had at my fingertips. My parents got my brother and I, you know, the latest uh, game consoles. And that also really kind of helped introduce us to like the stories and, and how fun technology can actually be. And then when I joined middle school and high school, I, because I already had that basic knowledge of what tech was, um, I got interested in LEGO Robotics and, I, and then through LEGO Robotics I joined the high school robotics team, uh, the first robotics team, and I went into programming and I did a lot more of a, uh, the, the wiring as well. What led you to the path that you're in today? My job is uncover all of these business opportunities. But after three years and a half, I realized that I was always behind the curtains and I actually wanted to be in front and be in contact with our customers. And, you know, like try be the one who not only propose changes, but actually make those changes happen. I discovered all of these other type of skills and that's what motivated me to pursue my passion in digital marketing. What role did your family play um, in your decision to enter the tech field? Having immigrant parents that you know were working so hard, who had left their countries to come and give us opportunities here, teach you work ethic. That if you want something, you can work for it and you can achieve it. I certainly was not a person that followed rules at all. That rule is weird, I'm not following that. I think that this more makes more sense. And I think that that also pushed me for thinking outside the box. Which advice would you give to your younger self? Go and experience something new, something that's different uh, and something that grabs your attention. Find that something that makes you tick and just go for it, try it. Break something, let's put it back together 
and when we are breaking something and making mistakes we learn new things. Technology for me is has been a tool to learn more about uh, how things work and I found it really uh, exciting and I started in engineering just because it was a challenge, it was a new challenge to solve problems so hopefully in the future we, we could all solve uh, bigger problems together. It's very rewarding for me not to only have an exciting job at work but to know I'm making a real difference in day-to-day -day life. Soy Latina. I'm a Latina. Y amo la tecnología. And I love technology.